Hey guys, it's Ari. Welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be discussing how to connect your LG 5K UltraFine to a Windows desktop. Now, the LG 5K UltraFine was designed in partnership with Apple. It was to deliver a Thunderbolt 3 display for their MacBook Pro and iMac customers. Now this is nice if you own a brand new Mac, since Thunderbolt 3 is built in, but $1,300 is a lot of money to spend on a display essentially locked into one ecosystem. My goal was to find, is there a way that I can connect this display to my Windows desktop? Since my motherboard doesn't have Thunderbolt 3 built in, I am required to use something known as an expansion card. Now the expansion card I selected was the Asus Thunderbolt EX3. The reason I selected this card was because it was compatible with my motherboard. The motherboard I'm using is the Asus X299 Tough Mark 1. My motherboard does have the Asus proprietary Thunderbolt header required to make the expansion card work. Sadly to say, this card also won't work with any motherboards not made by Asus or that don't have the specific header, but you should check your compatibility with your motherboard before you purchase this card. Other reasons for adding a Thunderbolt 3 expansion card to your system other than just to support a fancy 5K display are that the fact that it would allow you to daisy chain up to six Thunderbolt enabled devices through one single port. This means with its 40 gigabit per second data rate transfer speeds that it will be perfect for connecting additional hard drives and monitors to your setup. This card retails for under $100. I've seen it from anywhere from $65 to $85. Find the best deal, purchase it, that's easy enough. Now what comes in the box is you get the expansion card and you get two cables. The first cable is the connection cable between the motherboard header and the card itself. The second cable is a mini display patch cable from your graphics card to the expansion card. The first step when installing the Asus Thunderbolt expansion card will be to locate the Thunderbolt header on your motherboard. The second step will be to install the connection cable that connects the Thunderbolt header to the expansion card. The third step will be adding the Thunderbolt expansion card to the open slot. Remember to secure it with the thumb screw. The fourth step will be to connect the Thunderbolt header cable to the expansion card. The final step of installation will be to install the display cable that patches the graphics card signal to the Thunderbolt expansion card. Now you can connect the Thunderbolt cable from the back of the LG 5K UltraFine to the expansion card. After you've completed the physical installation, then you can enter the BIOS to enable the features from the motherboard. Once in the BIOS, you should see this menu. You'll need to hit F7 to go to Advanced Mode. After this, you'll need to hit Advanced again in order to access the Thunderbolt configuration page. By default, the Asus motherboard has some features disabled. You'll need to enable the Thunderbolt USB support and Thunderbolt boot support. When you've completed these steps, hit F10 to save and exit the BIOS. Since there are no official Windows drivers for the 5K UltraFine, Thunderbolt seems to take over that role at a firmware level, knowing exactly what the device is, such as being able to see that it's an audio device. One interesting note is when you look through Windows display settings, Windows doesn't seem to be able to utilize all 5,000 pixels of this display. Instead, it's running at 4.5K, which I'm not bothered by, but I just thought was interesting and I imagine because of the lack of official drivers that this might be the problem. In my concluding thoughts, I think it was really a good experiment to see would I be able to make the 5K UltraFine work with a Windows system. Now me using an external expansion card where there was officially zero support on either side, I thought it was a fun experiment. And in the end, the experiment actually works and it works quite well. So I'm really excited to be able to use both this 5K with my Mac setup and my Windows setup so I can have that ultra crisp experience for my entire workflow. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.